All right, one more to go. And it is a multiple toy makers golden astronaut moon exploration series. Moon Patrol Cricket, or Cricket P1, as it's labeled there on the side. Very interesting uh, astronaut in there, based on uh, MPC, or a multiple toy makers, five and a half inch astronaut from the uh, 60s. And I want my rocket sprue. Uh, package has seen better days during the time when I worked at the Rhino Records in Albany, yeah, we, we, we did a lot of used product actually, I would uh, make note yeah, on the invoice from the check-in that the uh, packaging appears to have been used as a door jam. And, and, and I'm stoked to have it, the price was right, uh, the vendor actually even has a couple of others that I want to bring home. Keep them coming my dear. And. I'm, I'm almost tempted just to slice it off. Ooh, there's a couple of flinders of uh, gold material there at the bottom. Yeah, this has to get open. In the interests of humanity, to quote Genesis, and I actually found a real brush. Hopefully we can get this one open without mishap. Ash, can you see this? Yes, I can. And for those scoring along at home, what we're, we're brushing on here is 100% uh, acetone. Walgreens, three bucks. But then again, it, it, it doesn't really matter. It, it, nothing's ever going to get repackaged and sold by me. Get the vehicle off. Rocket sprue. Golden astronaut and related flinders and scraps. And we'll press this underneath a dictionary or something like that. And again, when you're looking for these things, um, the, uh, the the this will dry and, and be lighter. It'll it'll be discolored enough so that you could see that there's a pattern to it, and that it's not just a random splotch of uh, moisture that came in contact. I'll always check the back of the the packages when you're making your online purchases to ensure that you're getting. Uh, a, a, a set that actually was sealed in 1970 and not uh, opened since then. Let's take a look at the vehicles. Segment it down so that Apple won't waste too much of my time. Cricket P1. With its cannon, hopefully perfectly intact. Here's our base with our stampage and I'd had a prior example of the cricket that was loose and it's missing its uh, plunger there, plumb bob, plunger there on the end where it, where it got broken off although I only, only noticed when I was looking at it again the other day that its, it's launcher still apparently works I guess that's how you launch it. Spring on this is a little stiff and it, it's not notching right into it and I'm not going to force it right now on camera. There's the uh, operator figure. Driver, pilot, I think operator is a better term. He's got some Modest suit tape detailings. Looks like the suit detailings on the one that had previously are a little bit more distinct. 
I'll eyeball it on my own later after the show is over. And here, of course, is the uh, sprue of rockets made for the set. Uh, probably cast in in black plastic and then painted with a chrome. We'll figure it out when I when I do a test firing. I'm going to leave it intact for now. Um, but with the other days, uh, Matt Major Matt Mason lightning bolt cannon also brought home some rocket screws and I've been wanting to compare these two in person yeah it looks like they might be interchangeable and of course LP also made the astronaut figures and this one is special to me it's based on another multiple toy makers five inch astronaut pose no markings on the base, um, and I got out my uh, other three multiple toy maker pose uh, golden astronauts as well. And then there's the full size uh, Geiger counter guy behind the uh, silvery Geiger counter figure. And just wanted to look here on camera. I don't think any of the multiple toy maker figures get any stamping on the bottom to them at all. Um, which would kind of make sense since LP was making them for multiple toy makers and putting their own logo on it might have been a little bit appropriative. But his pose there, he's holding a pistol, and I guess what would be his left hand, and in his right hand, I believe that's supposed to be a movie camera, and I think he's the same pose as the dude here although with a different piece of equipment and I've still got him holding the uh, range finder because it serves to have something in his hand to sort of visually compare them impossible to do it here on video but if you go to my blog I'll do a an extensive uh, examination of the figure and the vehicle and just enjoy doing it. Now, I, I mean, all Paul Vreed already has all of this research on his own page, and I would never presume to be doing anything here that that they he has not already covered or has not already been cut been covered on the uh, Project Sword Toys uh, Moonbase Central uh, blog uh, that that Paul Woods maintains either. I'm just an artist who's in all the forms, trying to learn from them, and sharing my voyage of discovery with the rest of the world as a digital-based uh, performance project that now spans well. Six months. How long have I been doing these? I was definitely opening Matchbox cars back in, uh, in January on camera, and it was only, you know, come... March really that the, the, the space toy thing really started to kick in and I am just in love with the, the golden astronaut line I think that's sort of the pinnacle of the Apollo era space toy disposable plastic dollar store quality space toys that for whatever reason I'm just sort of drawn to as usual I turn off the camera and then I notice something which is that I was maybe incorrect uh, on the opening set for the MEV2 Moon Prospector in, in stating that, that this MPC guy was uh, the, the inspiration for this form. Um, now that I'm looking at, at this closer, the way that he's holding his gun in this pose is, is more on key with the pose here. Um, so I guess I don't have that guy yet. Uh, he's definitely, it, 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 he's holding the gun again in the left hand, but his, uh, I guess his palm would be facing out. There his palm is facing towards his thigh. So hadn't noticed that until right now, that, it, that he's out of the package. That, like, you know what? That actually is a closer match. 
And I tell you, I, I'm, I'm now specifically looking at these Golden Astronaut or Apollo Moon Exploring sets and, and, and looking at which astronauts are inside almost as much as, as the vehicles themselves. Even more than that. I want, I want these little NPC guys. It, because, you know, if nothing else, you can work with scale and distance. And the, the, the smaller guys can be further away or the larger guys can be giants. How about that? Damn right this is art.